The Nook Simple Touch is a great reading device, but what happens if you aren't reading anything? Well, the Nook goes to a boring screensaver that's the same as what everybody else has. Today I'll show you how to customize your Nook by adding a custom screensaver. So first, let's get to what you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need a Nook, but you're also going to need a PC or a Mac and the cable that came with your Nook, or a standard micro USB cable if you don't have your Nook cable. First, plug in the Nook to your computer. If Windows needs to install drivers, then let it. Now, you need to find the image that you want to use as your wallpaper. This can be from Google Images, or you can get it from your local hard drive, but for the best results, you want to find one that has a portrait orientation. Next, you're going to want to open up your image editing software. You can use more advanced software like Photoshop, but I'm going to demonstrate using Microsoft Paint because most Windows computers come with it pre-installed. Now you want to open the image file that you want to use as your wallpaper. If you've decided to use a landscape-oriented image, you're going to want to crop it as close to a portrait as possible. You can do this using the selection tool. Next, you're going to want to right-click on the image and click Resize. In the box that pops up, you're going to want to choose Pixels at the top. To make things simple, make sure that you uncheck the Maintain Aspect Ratio box. Now you want to change the horizontal value to 600 and the vertical value to 800. Now you can click OK. To save your image, click on the icon in the corner, then click Save As. Make sure you have the JPEG option selected and give your picture a name. Now you want to navigate to Computer, and there you should see a device labeled Nook. So open that up and open the Screensavers folder. Here you will make a new folder for what you want the name of your new screensaver to be. Now you can save the image in that folder. Finally, you can eject the Nook from your computer and then unplug it. If you've done everything correctly, you should be able to select your new screensaver in the settings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.